creating dishes is my favorite thing. And I feel I can push my boundaries through that and show who am I. And also, because I have a lot of ideas in my mind. You know, where an artist uh, shows his idea through a painting, I show myself throughout the dishes that I make. I grew up eating Indian food, but I never cooked Indian food before. I started my career in French cooking, and I always want to do it with the Indian flavors. In Dewa, we're serving a modern Indian cuisine with the French techniques and some flavors of uh, peninsula where I came from. I try my best to keep the flavor authentic, but the techniques, the way I plate it, I approach on a modern way. We want to create a totally different uh, dining experience where you come here, you get a very authentic flavor, but it's not messy. It's just nicely plated. You have Indian inspired cocktails, nicely paired wines. I still want a communal style where people can share, have a good time, where you can eat small tapas and have a really good cocktail. I try to keep it very casual here, where even if you wear bermudas or slipper, you still can come dine in. Because my focus is I'm just gonna serve you good food. My parents always brought us out and eat, where I really fall in love with foods, especially street foods. Penang is a heaven of uh, street foods, where you have Malay, Indian and Chinese foods. One of my uh, grandma's cooking that I still have in my memory is uh, Rasam is a savory soup, very simple, and she will cook with an anchovy sambal. It's like a side dish, and we eat it with white rice and a fried egg. And I want to put that in my menu. Oysters go well with the vinegar or something savory and uh, tangy kind of flavor. Rasam have similar flavor, so I recreate the dish with a rasam uh, vinaigrette, and we top with sambal oil you will get something that you never can you will get in some other restaurants. where I try to uh, incorporate Asian flavors or peninsula flavors where I use a lot of lemongrass, uh, ginger flower and uh, mix with uh, Indian spices. I take a lot of notes and uh, taste as much as I can. I add in a lot of uh, street food and we do a lot of R&D. I try to capture the flavors but we recreate the entire dish. To get the flavors right is most hardest. I fail a lot till today. I think we 
create more than uh, 300, 400 dishes. Indian food itself is too rich, too heavy in spices and creamy. So what we're trying to do here, right, we want to balance up everything. We change the ingredients, but we try to keep the authentic flavour. When I start to explore more into this, it changes me a lot. I start to adapt. The cooking has to be a bit different. When I serve something to a guest, from their first reaction when they put it in their mouth, you already know, is it's good or not. We can see from their face, you know, and it's really bring me a lot of happiness. My vision for the restaurant is simple, where I cook really good food, with a good produce, good flavours, and have a happy guest.